TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kickkick.com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, man, this is the channel. Uh, if we do go live and we happen to miss it, this is where any uh, highlights and things of that nature will be. Don't forget, we do got a Patreon. We post five days a week. This is a list of everything that's on there. Pause. Take a look. We also got merch. You get me. Uh, the link to all of that is down below in the description, man. It's under something called Link Tree. Click it. It'll expose everything that you need to see about me. Peckham shop owner seen choking. Woman accused of stealing. Before I even start the video, man, y'all let me know in the comments. Was it over was was the shop owner doing too much? Or was he in the right for defending his, you know, hard earned money? Cause you know, if you go into Target or Asda or any of these real big stores, if they if you get caught stealing, they can't really stop you in America at least. They can't stop you once you out the door. They can't put their hands on you. They can suggest that you stop. They can lock the door. But once I'm out the threshold, you can't really follow me. Because, you know what I'm saying? It get dangerous at that point. It might get a little spooky. But this is by The Telegraph. Check it out. Oh, yeah. That's a... Ooh, wee. That's a big dude. He got both hands. He's trying to uh, evacuate life from her body. Now it just seems like he restraining her. I believe he like realized like, listen, I'm a big man. She might not be moving no more. Where's the sound? Was seen restraining the woman who claimed to attempt to take items from his shop. She came in there and tried to steal eight bundles of real Belizean hair. She was out here going crazy. A demonstration opposing violence against women in black community was held up. Bro, if they don't, what are you doing? Look, listen, I'm all for protecting black women, but come on now. You, like, we're not going to look past the fact that she was in there stealing. She wasn't stealing groceries to feed her children. She was stealing hair to feed her edges. Like, I'm not, no, no, no. I ain't even going to lie with you. The choking is a bit excessive, but him holding her, like, stopping her from running out. The shop on Rye Lane on, wait, what? On Tuesday after footage of incident emerged. Oh, they started protesting. Well, people be looking for any reason to protest. Shorty was in there stealing Peruvian hair inserts. Like, ooh. Come on now, if y'all was running a local business and somebody got the stealing from y'all, y'all would do the same thing. Like, cut cut it out. Like, I, this, is, this is, like, the Met Police said it was called to report of a 31-year-old woman accused of stealing and assault. Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! I'm not gonna lie, choking her was a little bit too much. Now, if y'all outside for that reason, but let's not write off she was stealing. She was stealing. If any one of y'all owned a hair salon or any type of store, local, like, mom and pop business, and she walked in and got the stealing, y'all would instantly start fighting so not even trying to see it here talk about shut it down shut it down listen man let's sit here and have a conversation real quick be real let's go back be real 
at this point, I feel like anger, anger, really, anger got the best of him at this point. Anger got the best. He probably was dealing with people stealing stuff for a long time. And he was like, man, well, next time I catch one, I'm finna, hmm, you feel what I'm saying? Caught her. You know what I'm saying? Was angry in the moment. Walked her to the back. Noticed what was happening. Took his hands off. He was trying to squeeze. I'm talking. He got a good grip. My bad. Now, at this point, let me just restrain you because you're hitting me with this cart, but this the basket, and it's ouching me. At the end of the time, man, the lesson is, you feel me, don't steal. Now, my question is, are we for certain that she was stealing? Are we certain or he just accused her of stealing? Now, I'm playing both sides now. You know what I'm saying? This is his business. He has the right to refuse entry, kick you out at any point. And if you do not leave, it is now trespassing. And if I kick you out and you're trust you now you're you're considered trespassing and you're trying to leave with stuff, you're stealing. I'm not trying I'm trying to defend my business. This hard earned money. Yeah, I'm getting these products for the low, but I'm here trying to make a profit. And every time you steal something from me, it messes up my bottom line. Correct or not? The choking, yes, excessive. I'm not even gonna hold you. But me personally, what I would have tried to take, like, stop her from leaving, I would have definitely tried to stop her from leaving. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm here trying to make a business for my family. So y'all, every time you steal something that's coming out of my family mouth, now I want you arrested. As a law-abiding citizen, you're going to jail. You're definitely going to jail. And I'm trying to hold you here until the police come at the end of the day. Now, all of this protesting right here, They, they got to be bored. They looking for any reason to come outside. That's just, I'm not, I'm going to say it. I, the protest, yes, he should not have choked that woman. But I, I don't feel like he was in the wrong. I do not feel like he was in the wrong. You're stealing. At the end of the day, you're stealing from a mom and pop store. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, the lesson to be learned here is don't steal. If you ain't got enough money to get your edges re reconstructed or your extensions plucked in or whatever you call it, work harder at work. Drive Uber. Get some more money. But stealing, that's out the picture, man. That's out the door, man. TLL, leave a like, comment. Let me know what you think. I could be being harsh, but I, hey.